All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 24. All right. So a figure caption or fig caption element is used to add a caption to describe the image contained within the figure element. For example, fig caption, a cute cat, and then close fig caption adds a, pardon me, adds the caption of a cute cat, all right? So after the image nested in the figure element, we're gonna add a fig caption element with the text set to cats love lasagna, right? So let's go check out fig caption before we do that. Fig caption, HTML right here. And let's see if there's any secrets. So we already saw this picture on the last one. Uh, of these uh, houses. And we see right here, the fig caption is right here and it has uh, the words right under the picture. And let's see if there's any secrets to this, all right? So definition and usage. The fig caption tag defines a caption for a figure element, all right? And the fig caption element can be placed as the first or last child of the figure element. So it can be above or below the picture, all right? Uh, and that's pretty much it right here. We've got some, uh, CSS styles that we can put on it so we can try ourselves and you can see if we put uh where is it <laughs> okay here we go if we put mm, okay well we don't know CSS yet so it's pointless to go over why this is italic but uh as you can see here it says italic right here and some other stuff so we'll go over that later uh let's come over here and put that in here so we'll say uh fig caption right here fig caption like this and then close fig caption fig cap chin all right and in between these we're going to put cats love lasagna like that all right and we can come down here and we can see it says cats love lasagna right there uh my question is though can th can this exist without the figure element let's just see uh like that nope See, I guess it indents it uh, when we put it inside of a figure. As we can see, just like that. Okay, so there we go. All right, cool. So let's uh, check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 25. And we'll see you next time.